Well, that's... Uh, hey. Actually. This is perfect. Oh, I think somebody else just walked in, too. Um, hey, I'm gonna go... Is there anything interactable in here? No? Okay, cool, 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 cool. I do have one of these. I'm just gonna heal myself. I'm still on fire, which is obviously not ideal. Actually... It's all one. Is there a way to deactivate those turrets? Well, you know what? This is actually a, an, a better place to fight. Just like straight up. So we don't actually have to deal with the turrets at all. <clears throat> Issue being I have now isolated myself. Oh, really? I, I only have three AP now. Please don't have Overwatch. Thank you. Uh, Coyote, do you want to get some cover? I really wish we had somebody with like a grenade robot. That would be so cool and chill right now. Hey, y'all. Fuck yeah. That was a great idea. I'm so good at playing this video game. Um... You're fucked. Do you have an aim? You do. Die. Get killed. Die. Come on, man. There we go. There we go. You love to see it. Dodger, how is your aim not fucking better than this? Oh, that's not... Okay. It's not what I wanted necessarily, but sure. God, the fucking portrait... Wait, it's gone now. Where did it go? There was a portrait and then it left. Wait, hey, where'd you come from? Oh, you're a rigger, huh? With a drone? And everything? I... Mm, I love that. I love that. That's my fucking favorite. Also, really hate saying that word. It's a bad word that they should have thought of something better for. Hey, Dodger, can you hit that? Uh, that's nah, not the worst, actually. Do you have a grenade? No. Hey, Coyote. Why don't you let pop up for like a second like, until you make take your first action for a character on their turn? Uh, oh, yeah. I just, you know, I, I just never super paid attention to that, I guess. Until now. What does this guy got? Do you have the, uh, AoE? Do you have the AoE? You don't have the AoE? Oh. Well, that's 
disappointing. Get a little bit closer. Why is that? Oh, that's like a shotgun. Got it. Oh, I completely disconnected that drone. Fucking look at me go. Ah. Hey, Dodger. Get in there, bro. This is where it could all fucking go wrong. Though I think now that I've fought through all that, I don't really need to be doing this, honestly. So I'm pretty sure this is meant to avoid that. Get blasted, you do. But I have killer as well, or I'm gonna be really super upset with you. Motherfucker! What are, you, what are you doing, Dodger, that you don't have fucking killer? I mean, I don't think we're waiting for anything. That elemental might go haywire while we're waiting, though. Which is maybe a problem. Also, wow, he took a heavy hit there, and that did half his health, apparently. Ah. Oh, let's turn off the turrets, which is nice. Do that really quick. Wow, that sure slowed it down, didn't it? Oh, there's more people coming. Gotta shut off these fucking turrets. Are we good? Ah, oh, fuck no. Oh shit, Dodger! Data maybe? Ooh. Hey. Oh fuck. Ah oh, shit. You're good. You're good. Oh, you son of a bitch. Whoa, what? What are odds, right? What is math? Fuck math. Hey, Coyote, can you do me a really quick favor so Dodger doesn't fucking bite it? Thanks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Okay. I mean, they are always more effective when they're going fucking haywire, so. Hmm. Looks like some data on some new biotech genome research. This is worth some new yen in the right hands. I'll send you the funds. Oh. Thanks, Baron. Elevator control node. That's what we need. 
don't trust like that. Yeah, exactly. I don't fucking trust like that. Like, I know better. Which means we do this. Uh, do that. White icy. Okay. It is just a bunch of white ice, at least. Hmm. Um. How much health does it have? Oh, it's out of AP, though. Fuck. Man, I really wish you were a better shot right now. My guy, I really wish you did not suck complete shit right now. I'm just gonna surround this guy. Thanks. Oh my god, he just ate shit. No, I think he just has a gun. He's an urban shaman. Like, they tend to only have summons and... Uh, a gun. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. It's fine. Uh, That's really fucking annoying. Oh my god, that's so fucking annoying. Okay, cool. Hey, bro. Your gun is like a serious problem. Thank god we took that dude out. Yeah, fucking see what it did to those turrets. What was the point? Oh, I guess so he would fight those and not us. Was kind of the point. Do I, have, I don't have heal right now. Oh, fuck yes. Okay. Time to get out. Uh, there's nowhere to jack out from here, huh? Please tell me I'm not gonna have to fight all my like my way all the way back. Okay. Oh shit, no, we should be fucking healing the shaman. I fucking forgot. Uh what's over here? Legal files, you say. Uh, James, your proposed agreement with Melinda Watts will likely be effective in protecting your children's inheritance, but it is not without risk. As you know, the generation skipping trust established by your grandfather calls for the oldest living issue to be the trust manager and beneficiary. While Miss Watts has agreed to modify her children's birth certificate from unknown to Telestrian employee Nathan Miles, if the children ever discover that they share a father with you, they... With with you, they can make a claim on the trust based upon DNA evidence. Oh, the... Sam and Jessica are Telestrians. I'm learning a lot of this for the first time. It's been a it's been a bit since I've played this. Uh, hey, Coyote, you have a oh, do I? What about 
Man, I sure hope Dodger's not the one that... Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck. Cody, you had one before. Oh, shit. I guess the Shaman's fucking done for. Oops. Looks like he beefed it. All it took was one massive fucking troll with a fucking assault rifle. He wasn't all that helpful anyway. I also don't know if we have much more fighting left. Oh, we definitely do. Yeah, I think you're right. Hold on, I'm gonna take a sip so I'm like prepared, so I'm braced. Whoa. Why did I do that? <laughs> Crowding into a corporate elevator on a shadow run is risky. You're exposed, vulnerable, but the time is of the essence. But time is of the essence. The CEO's office is 50 floors up, and the Baron has your back. In theory. Light, blanderized music flows softly from hidden speakers as you make your way up to James Celestrian's office and towards your objective, a sample of Project Aegis. You need to find the sample and get out before the Baron loses control of the Telestrian mainframe and all hell breaks loose. Well, as if it hasn't, right? Because things have been so chill so far, right? I feel like there was a quieter way to go through this. And we just kind of didn't. But I don't remember how you go about it in a quieter way. Because, again, it's been a while. Yeah, so the moment we go interact with that... It's all hell breaks loose moment. You know what? At least the shaman died and not Dodger, or this whole run would be fucked. And you know what? Racing right here. Now, all Dodger has to do is get to the end and open the door, I believe. might be coming in behind me right now. Let's remember that Overwatch is a mechanic in this video game. Yeah, Dodger is complete crap at literally anything else but decking. Also, even at decking, because he doesn't have the one program that does the biggest damage. Which I fully consider vital. Are you fucking kidding me right now?
Damn, why are these guys so hittable? Okay. Alright, we're good. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Aw, oh, beans. Hey, Dodger, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta hurry. That's not... At this point, we cannot confidently assign a motive to Miss Celestrian's hiring of Shadowrunners to destroy the, com the company's Columbia River facility, but there are two leading contenders. The most likely is that she is working for a rival megacorp seeking a competitive advantage, but an alternative, an alternative explanation is that it has something to do with her deep involvement uh, with the Universal Brotherhood. While Telestrian Industries, of course, would never interfere with an employee's religious choices, our 2053 investigation raised concerns that Miss Celestrian's devotion to the cult-like Universal Brotherhood could represent a security risk to the company, and it is possible that this has become true. I didn't need more lore right now. What I needed, I think. Wow. 90%. 90% it said. Oh, balls. Better cover. Overwatch. Better cover. Uh, you know what? Shotgun. Get fucked, idiot. Fuck. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? I think that needs to die. Oh, yeah, so that... So that percentage works out. Yeah, buddy needs to heal. Uh. Okay. There's... Three here? Where's the... Oh, uh, is there a fucking black ice, like, staking out the fucking node? Uh, no, I don't think he brought any summons. Oh, I could check. I could double check that. <laughs> oh, shit. I always forget about that part of decking. Oh, well, that changes things pretty fucking considerably, don't it? Do you have a one that does heals? Oh, oh wait. There's a shield. Oh, well, this is fucking way better. This is more reasonable to do now. Uh... That, it's all gone. The runners attacked last night managed to blow the whole damn Columbia River facility to bits. I have had teams sorting through the rubble all morning, and they haven't found any viable Project a Aegis material. The sample I sent you is all that's left. This is a mess. Lots of people dead, and the building's a total and the building a total loss. Call me to discuss what you want me to do next, Tom. Hmm. Hmm. 
Man, we need to hurry through this, because the fucking alert is getting pretty fucking high. Oh, we have literally have a program that deals with that, right? Oh, really? Nobody's come to the door yet? I did do it, I dare you. No, we don't. Suppression. That didn't really seem to do a whole lot. Oh, hello. Personal correspondence node. That's exactly what I fucking want. Wait, that look, this looks like a dead end. Should I just... It kind of... What seems more viable here is to just let these things do most of the work. Is this is a blaster. That's tar bomb. Fuck yeah. Oh! Oh shit! What I'm gonna do really quick is that. Probably should have done that before I came out here. Honestly. Kill that. Kill that. Or attempt to. I don't know what the exploder does. That. Hey guys? Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of working out. Oh. I'm gonna go over here, because that should block line of sight, right? What does this do? Get rocked, idiot. Mr. Telestrian, in light of the recent attacks, I have relocated the only remaining sample of Project Aegis to the safe in my office. The safe is hidden and the safe's lock is mechanical and thus not at risk from Matrix Decker attacks. Sincerely, Eric Silverstar, Director of Security, Telestrian Industries, Seattle Office. Well done, mon ami. As it happens, Eric Silverstar's office is on this very floor. About time a little good fortune came our way, eh? I make my own luck. As you say. Now, to stop those elevators, I am sure there is an accessible node in the system we can access. Find it before you are overrun with guards. Bro, what are you even... Contributing to this whole operation, my man? Like, is he contributing anything? Can I heal yet? I can't. And we should probably should probably do suppression at some point. Next turn, I guess. That's not gonna do anything. He's my navvy. Yeah, I guess. Well, I guess we'll, uh... I know there was more guys. What are they doing? Okay, I'm gonna send my, my summon out here. That was a good call. <laughs> that, was, that was a great call. Uh...
let's just do... Wow, it takes 3 AP, huh? What? Okay, I'm never trying debuffs again. They just seem completely fucking pointless. What? Hello? Oh. Oh, fuck. I just... I think I just doomed us. Shit. Yeah, that was a bad... That was a bad... That was a bad play. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. This literally could not be a worse situation. Oh my god. Can I heal? Oh shit. Come on, it's right the fuck in front of you. Dodger? Dodger, I think you're gonna have to make the ultimate sacrifice, my man. <sighs> if you don't die first. All right, go for it. The rest is up to you. Ah. <laughs> uh, Fuck, what can we do? Please get hit by that. Fuck. Yes. Yes, yes, yes! Shit, shit, fuck. Come on, Dodger! Yes! Holy shit! Oh, by the seat of his fucking pants. Is there really nobody else in there? Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. Dodger, I love you. You fucking did it. You fucked up little elf. You actually did it. Actually, Dodger wouldn't have even died if he died in the Matrix, now that I'm thinking about it. He would have just gotten forcibly jacked out unless he was killed by Black Ice. So I was that I was that stressed and freaked out for like literally nothing, but it did add some really fucking good tension to the whole thing, didn't it? Okay.
All right, get out of there. I think we got everything. Holy shit, I can't believe we managed to pull that off. Okay, are we chill? I think we're chill. Now we just need to find the safe, I guess. Which I think is over here. I think that was the most stressed I, I Oh, it's right there. I didn't see the fucking yellow diamond there. Oh, because it literally doesn't cross the screen. Your calm link chirps again and the Baron's face appears on screen. His voice is far less confident than before. Ah, uh, this is new. Things not going according to plan, Baron? Apparently, Mr. Silverstar's reputation for paranoia is well-founded. This panel has a hard-coded door control that cannot be accessed from the Matrix. It was not here yesterday. How did the oven install so fast? So, what now? Somebody will think of something. Very well, this will work, but the plan requires you, and only you, to stay the night. You have my attention. Go on. You will find the elevator, once again under our control, goes to an empty parking lot in safety. Your hired help will be able to clear the building with ease. You, however, will be Telestrian's newest employee come sunrise. Now, allow me to tell you where to go. This went so good. This went the absolute best. You hunker down in the janitor's locker room amid the smells of industrial strength cleaners, floor wax, and body odor. Sleep is impossible as you must be constantly on your guard for the telltale sounds of security teams or building maintenance crews. Morning eventually comes and with it another chance at Project Agus. That's why I remembered there being a more peaceful option through here. Because you have to. Good morning, mon ami. You look well. Get on with it. Given Mr. Silverstar's paranoia about security, we could not get into his office in a straightforward manner last night. However, thanks to the mayhem created by you and your shadow runners, a situation ripe for exploitation now exists. You must think you're pretty clever. We! Oui. While you waited here, I continued to probe, looking into some of the less secure, more mundane, telestrian office files. Shipping records indicate that Mr. Silverstar recently took delivery of several paintings he commissioned after being promoted to BP of Telestrian Security. The shipment was called Our Values. On the same day, Building Maintenance reported installing the artwork in his office at the same time as a piece of equipment purchased by Fuki Corp. Although they attempted to obfuscate its use, I believe it is the safe. And the sample is in the safe. You are very bright. Mr. Silverstar is personally conducting the investigation into last night's break-in. He is interviewing personnel who may have pertinent information. You need to be one of the personnel he interviews in his office. Once you are inside, you will need him to leave so that you can find a way to get the sample. So I tell him I have evidence so I can get inside his office for an interview. Close. You will plant evidence of your own creation. There are three Matrix emergency power junctions on this level. If we add some calm link chips to them, it will make last night's run appear to be preparation for a larger run. It will bring the attention of Telestrian security. Getting the attention of corporate security comes easily to me. What's your angle? There is a janitor's uniform ID badge and the calm link chips in the locker. They will get you general access and allow you to pass a basic inspection. The rest is up to you. <laughs> I literally said that earlier. One more thing. Mr. Silverstar is well known for his creative security measures. You would do well to learn as much as you can about this man before meeting him. Now, quickly change and I will unlock the door. Oh my god. Well, you know what? This does indicate that this was all part of Sanity's plan, right? Holy shit, I have a lot of karma. Because how else would the uh, calm link chips have gotten there, right? 